Welcome to Console Empires. Today, I've got some news for you about what's going on around Age of Empires 2 on Xbox. First up, update 81058 had unfortunately no console specific changes worth talking about, but we did get a new mod. Have you tried enabling the new No Trees mod? <laughs> oh, and the update broke control groups, but the devs are already aware of these, so maybe we'll see a fix in short order. Gambesons should have an interesting effect on the console meta. Gambesons is a new tech at the barracks that you can research in the castle age after supplies. It's similar in cost to blacksmith armor upgrades and gives your militia line an extra pierce armor. Infantry tech research times have also been reduced across the board. In my opinion, longswords were already more viable on Xbox than PC because archer micro is kind of hard and fewer players seem to be going for crossbows because of it. I've only actually faced three players so far that have went for ranged units and they were all unique units. I haven't come across a crossbow player in the wild yet, but I've only actually played 50 or so ranked games between my two accounts, so maybe there's more archers out there that I just haven't run into yet. So does the plus one pierce armor really even matter then? I think it does. Longswords are pretty strong against buildings, so being able to eat TC with less of them should be significant, especially given that it's now faster to get your militia line upgrades. I think civs like Celts, Japanese, or Aztecs are going to be a lot stronger now for console players as they already had a good infantry bonus and longswords can now pinch hit for siege even more effectively. So what do you think? Are longswords viable on Xbox? Does gambesons not really matter because pierce damage is less frequently a factor? Or do I have it all wrong, infantry is still trash and ballista elephant is best friend now? Well those are my thoughts, but what does the data say? AoeStats.io has been updated to support the new controller only ladder and they have an interesting visualization plotting Civ win rate against pick rate. So let's see how far off my take is from the numbers. Since the controller ladder and the recent patch are both new, the sample size on some of these are going to be pretty small. So take it with a grain of salt, especially for controller only high elo, there's not a ton of games analyzed. But let's check out high and low elo and compare to PC. The first thing that surprises me here is that Britons have a very high play rate, but as expected, a pretty low win rate. Franks and Teutons with their strong paladins are both popular and effective. Elite Teutonic Knight is low-key fire on console though. If you're a PC player, that probably sounds bogus, but melee units are very much dominant right now on controller, so a mass of ETK are borderline unstoppable. Sicilians with their top win rate are another surprise. I haven't actually tried them out yet on the new patch, but maybe I should. In the latest update, the Sergeant got more HP and the Donjon received a number of interesting buffs. So what about our friend Mr. Ballista Elephant? Kamai are huge fan favorites on the controller team's ladder with nearly an 11% play rate despite a pretty poor win rate of just 48%. And perhaps as you might have expected, their popularity declines sharply at high elo. Looking back at the 1v1 chart, they're picked only about 1% of the time and have a similarly poor win rate. Compared to PC, Franks are above average on both ladders. And somewhat surprisingly, Vikings have a high win rate on both as well. Gurjaras, Lithuanians, and Spanish are each about in the same place on both ladders respectively. Notable differences? Celts, Berbers, and Turks are all above 50% on PC, but well below on controller when looking at all ELOs. If we filter to only the top 1%, Celts are looking strong for controller and PC players. And check out Vikings with a 60% win rate for high ELO PC. Sad times for Bengalis, however, who have not been played even one time on controller high ELO since the patch. So curious how the game's been doing since release on console? I had a chance to learn a few details this week about the game's performance, and the population might be healthier than you think it is. The player count has been growing exponentially. The game was downloaded by over 80,000 players in the first 72 hours and has continued to grow, reaching over 700,000 players through the first six weeks. Like the PC counterpart, however, most AoE2 players prefer the campaign and single player content. So despite the high number of downloads, only about 25,000 players have completed a match on the ranked ladder. As far as the ranked ladder goes, Microsoft actually has a 7 year timeline for the ladder to normalize, and they aren't planning on making big changes to matchmaking until at least 6 months after release. Both of which are much longer time horizons than I'd expected, but that's a good thing to know that they're planning for the long term and that we can expect continued support for the game well into the future. So funny story about that, this game is actually why I'm a Mac user. So high school me was super mad that they were discontinuing the MSN gaming zone, so much so that I swore off PC entirely for years. That was for me the first time I'd come up against the realization that you don't actually own software, that you, you license it, you don't buy it. And that frustrating aspect of gaming has actually only gotten worse over time with subscription everything and digital only consoles. But learning how to run Age of Empires on a Mac did teach me some skills I guess about virtualization and dual booting, so th thanks for that. 
Anyway, I'm super excited about the console version of Age of Empires 2, and especially so now, knowing that it's going to be around for a little while. And last but certainly not least, the first team game tournament for controller players. Air Esports will be hosting the Xbox 2v2 Masters Cup next weekend. The opening matches will be played on Saturday, April 29th, with the semis and final round to follow on Sunday, April 30th. The winning team will take home a crowdfunded cash prize of over $100. And you can watch the event live on Twitch, streamed by Azu110. If any of you guys watching are interested in helping to build the console community or hosting your own controller tournaments, send me a message here on Reddit or Discord with the details of your project or event so I can include it in future videos like this one. Well, that's going to do it for Age of Empires 2 console news. Thank you for watching. I'm Ron Burgundy?